Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO, Suma Silver, Galen McNamara. How are you doing today, Galen? Hey, always good, Rich, and always good to see you. Excited to have you back on the show. And let's get started and talk a little bit about the fact that you guys have been working really hard on a drilling project since we last spoke. Obviously, drilling is a huge catalyst for miners. Can you give our viewers an update on the drill results and what this means for the company? Sure, sure. So the first point you made there where, hey, drilling is a, is a very strong catalyst for companies like ours, and, and nothing, could be, nothing could be more true in that everything we do right now really funnels into these drill results. So these drill results really are the culmination of, of months and work, months of work that go back to, to when we even started financing in, in February. So this morning we shared uh, a, a good batch of updates with, you know, very, very high grade uh, drill holes with the highlight being almost 1700 grams per ton silver equivalent uh, over four meters. Uh, and this is from our project in Nevada, in a, in a, in a little town called Tonopah, Nevada. Uh, as a lot of people know, Nevada is the number one place to be uh, working. It's the best mining jurisdiction, according to the Fraser Institute, for, uh, um, for investment. Uh, so, you, you know, we've got almost this perfect storm with, hey, on the technical front, we've got some very, very strong drill holes. Uh, coupled with the fact that we're in the best mining jurisdiction in the world, uh, and, and right on the highway um, and right beside a town. So, so for me, you know, I'm, I've been waiting to start shouting these results from the rooftops as they slowly come in. And, and now it's finally the chance for us, to do, for us to do that. That is huge. Now, a lot of people are talking about the precious metal sector starting to gain some steam. A lot of big, big companies sitting at 52-week lows. Now we're going into the fourth quarter of 2021. Seems like the perfect setup for a bull market. What are your thoughts on the precious metal sector? And how do you believe Suma Silver has positioned itself to take full advantage of the upside in the market? Yeah, yeah. Another, another great question. So you know, I don't know if I've ever seen a better setup for precious metals. Uh, just look at their most recent events, you know, even of this week with Evergrande uh, in China on the brink of of collapse, like right on the precipice with a bunch of toxic and bad debt. And, and we know that can spread like just a virus. It, it is a contagion. Uh, what happened in the precious metal precious metals markets last time? Uh, of course, that was Lehman Brothers back in 2009. And then we were set up for the best two years, you know, maybe in my lifetime, uh, certainly in, in certainly the best two years for decades before that. So I see things like that, but then I couple that against um, Things like the inflation numbers, and, and we keep hearing this word infinite quantitative easing, uh, where the Fed is really playing a game of chicken with the economy, and it must not be a very comfortable place for them to be in. Uh, look at the inflation numbers in, this, in the consumer price index from, from August, uh, and it was 5.3% year over year, uh, which is 0.1% down. It was 5.4%. Uh, in July, but you know the thing is, you know, the the guy who in, around the Fed, the guy in the office, he must be known as the magician, the guy who comes up with the CPI numbers because they go ahead and 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 whack off like and and just take the top you anywhere from fifteen to thirty percent of the the top margin of that and fifteen to thirty percent of the bottom margin of that, you know, to make the numbers look uh, more stable, right? So so I, you you got to kind of ask the Fed, you know, are you lying to us? Or are you lying to us, right? So, you know, it's like they're, they're really trying to keep this jack in the box, uh, but I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to do it for. And, and I think it's safe to say that they can't really do it for too much longer. So you couple that with Evergrande, with inflation, uh, and just look at where we are, even in terms of, you know, in, in, the last thing on inflation is look at where we are in terms of money printing, where something like 90% of all US dollars in circulation have been printed in the last couple of years. I mean, that's totally crazy. It, that, that shocks me. Uh, so, you know, I'm because of those reasons and I'm very bullish on precious metals, but, you know, we're a silver company, you know, primarily lots of gold as well, but primarily a silver company. And I, and I say to myself, OK, well, comparing gold to silver, they both look really strong. But in precious metals bull markets, uh, silver tends to uh, outperform gold pretty significantly. And that's because silver has a lot of industrial uses. So something like 60 to 70 percent of all silver produced uh, goes into industrial applications. Um, and, and even now that's changing significantly in that silver has really become this ESG metal, uh, where a lot of silver needs to go into things like solar panels, but especially into things like, uh, EVs, electric vehicles. So without silver, there'd really be no Tesla, 
so when you start thinking long term and in, in those types of big picture ideas, silver really is teed up, you know, with gold to go on, I think, an epic run. Um, look at the, the, the price ratio of silver to gold now is something like 70 to one uh, or 75 to one. Uh, but historically, it's more like 15 to one. Uh, and metal in the ground, the ratio is more like seven to one. So another point why silver is uh, relatively undervalued with, you know, when you're comparing it to gold. Um, now, as I'm sure your viewers know, and I'm sure you know, uh, a, a really good way to play these commodity markets is investing in junior miners because if, hey, if silver outperforms gold, well, typically the, the junior miners can outperform the commodities substantially. So again, you know, it comes down to silver. Well, really good silver projects are really hard to find. And really good silver projects in great jurisdictions are, are even harder to find. So I'm, I'm, I'm building a little bit of a narrative here. It's like, hey, we've got a great silver project uh, in a great jurisdiction where silver projects are really hard to find. And silver as a commodity looks as good as it, as it ever has. Uh, and, and that's why I'm excited to be a SUMA shareholder. And, and that's why I'm basically doing what I'm doing. You know, we love what you're doing too here at Rich TV Live. Our mandate is to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies. I think we do it better than anybody else. We really like to understand the company's fundamentals. We like to understand your share structure. We like to understand the management team. That's why we like to do these interviews. You know, our, inter our, our members are constantly saying, you know, we really appreciate these interviews. We get a chance to hear from the CEOs. We get a chance to learn things that we can't get from a press release. So it really goes a long way when we get a chance to sit down with the CEO. And it also shows us, hey, you know what? This is a CEO that believes in his company. He's telling his story. He's putting, you know, you, you put a name with the face. He's not, you know, doing anything other than telling the story and working hard for his shareholders. And I think that that goes a really long way when shareholders are deciding where to put their dollars. You know, there's thousands of companies to invest in. Why this company? Well, when a CEO comes on the show and they tell their story with confidence, they can break down the share structure. They say, I own stock. I'm not selling stock, we're buying stock, you know, and we're drilling and we're in all the right areas. And we believe we're on the precipice of something bigger. That really goes a long way with a shareholder saying, or even a potential investor saying, hey, this is a company I'm going to put on my radar. This is a company I'm going to put on my watch list. So in saying that, can you recap for the viewers today some of the milestones that Suma Silver has hit so far in 2021? And what are some of the catalysts in the near future that shareholders can look forward to? Yes, of course, of course. Well, even let's go back uh, to 2020 because yeah. we're still a, a very new company in that we were only founded in, in 2020. Um, so starting there, uh, we started with, uh, with a stock price of about 25 cents. That's what we did our first financing at. Uh, and since then, it's now sitting at a, a dollar, uh, fast forwarding, hey, less than less than two years now. Um, and and I look at that and I say, OK, well, what have we done since then? Well, you know, we've raised twenty three million dollars. Um, we've drilled one project. Um, I would say we've drilled it significantly, but I still get the feeling we're only scratching the surface there. And our drill results this morning, I think, are showing that um, we've acquired another project that I think is has as high of a, of a potential as the first project. Uh, and this one's in New Mexico and not in Nevada, which we will be drilling in the next couple of weeks. Great. Uh, and then going forward, what we're going to do is just continue to, to drill this, these, both of these projects out um, with the goal of delivering the first mineral resource estimates sometime in the second half of next year. Uh, and I look at the comps, you know, and I look at companies that are a little bit ahead of us, like, like Beasla Silver, uh, or a company that's way ahead of us, like Silvercrest. Uh, and I see what types of returns that these companies have provided for investors. And it really gives me something to shoot for, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a simple guy. I'm trying not to reinvent the wheel here. I looked at what I looked, I look at what's worked for other companies. Uh, and I say, you know, hey, we've got a real shot at doing the same thing. Uh, so that's really what we're going to be doing here for the next year with, with really driving aggressively towards delivering two mineral resource estimates. But in between now and then, say in a year from now, we're going to really communicate to the market, you know, a, a large amount of drill holes uh, as we drill these things out. That's exciting. Yeah. Galen, it's always a pleasure to have you back on the show. 
And we would love to do it more as we continue to build this relationship. And as you guys continue to drill and have news, we'd love to invite you back. So if there was one thing you'd want shareholders to know today that are watching current shareholders and potentially new shareholders that'll be watching this interview, what would it be? Well, you know, combine, combine the fact that, you know, we've never seen a better setup for silver uh, with the fact that we've got a great asset in a great jurisdiction with the fact that we are aggressively, really aggressively drilling this thing out so we can provide value for shareholders and create wealth for shareholders. Uh, taking those together, I, I think it's a great time to be a SEMA Silver shareholder or look at it seriously if you aren't already. Fantastic. And what is the best way for shareholders to get in contact with the company? We literally have investors in 100 countries that will watch this interview. Some of them are going to want to get in contact with you directly. What's the best way for them to do that? So the best way to do it is either on LinkedIn uh, at Suma Silver Corp or on Twitter at Suma Silver uh, or even me personally on LinkedIn or Twitter. I'm at Galen McNamara. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a very approachable person. So, you know, if, if you reach out to me, I, I will get back to you. And I'm, I'm happy to have calls with, you know, all shareholders and everyone who's interested in being a shareholder. So uh, please don't hesitate to reach out through any of those means. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here in Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a company that's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. We do love the fundamentals here of Suma Silver at Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Suma Silver. Galen McNamara. Thank you, Galen. Okay, thanks very much, Rich. And uh, always great to be here. And uh, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Always a pleasure. And thank you guys for watching. Zero Boy Rich from Rich TV Live with Galen McNamara, CEO of Suma Silver, saying have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.